Ronald Koeman had this to say, looking ahead to the upcoming season at Barcelona. Quote, I'm going to rely on all the players in my squad. If there are any incomings or outgoings, I'll need to accept them. These are decisions that need to be made by the club. There's lots of time left. Let's see who stays and who goes. But it's clear that Messi's renewal is the absolute priority. Back with us then, Julian Laron. All right, Jules, we're hearing reports out of Barcelona that in order to make Messi's renewal a possibility, they're going to have to offload players. And Antoine Griezmann always seems to be at the top of the list today. In fact, I saw a couple reports linking him to Manchester City. It just seems increasingly like his future does indeed lie away from Barcelona. I mean, the fact that he's on the transfer list is, one, is not a surprise. Two, we kind of know it. pretty much everybody's for sale in that squad because they need money so badly, they need to cut the wedge bill too. That's, that's one thing. Finding a club to sign Antoine Griezmann, I don't think he can go on loan. I, mean, I guess a loan maybe is an option. But otherwise, who's going to spend 80 million, 100 million on Antoine Griezmann? who, by the way, his release clause in Barcelona is 800 million euros. Not that anyone will have to pay that, but this is the release clause in his contract, in his current contract. He's got three more years on his contract. He earned 800,000 a week. I mean, this is, this is a huge contract. So I don't know who can come in for him, but good luck to whoever is interested because I think it's a hell of a deal to make. And you know what? I'm not even sure that Griezmann wants to leave Barcelona in the first place anyway. So he might well say, I don't want to go anywhere. Thank you very much. I'm staying here, and then in three years' time, when his contract expires, he can go to MLS and he'll be very happy. Jules, if it's not Griezmann, where else can they trim fat? Who else from that list could they possibly get rid of in the coming days? Preseason's about to start. Well, I think Philippe Coutinho has to be one of the, one of the biggest names on that list. One, because of the enormous wedges that he has. Two, because he cost them a lot, but I think around 30 or 40 million euros, and they would be very happy to offload him. Someone like Miral and Pjanic, who's hardly played really since arriving with that bill swap money deal, if you want, with Arthur and Juventus, is also not welcome at the club anymore. So there's a, there's a few like that. Usman Dembele has only one year left on his contract. Right now, it doesn't look like he's going to renew the deal. He's also injured, which will make it harder to sell, of course. But there might be something to, to do there if he doesn't want to extend. What about Samuel Umtiti, Clément Langlais? They've been offering them to every single club in Europe, but at the moment there's no takers and they don't want to leave anywhere in the first place. So wanting, wanting to sell players is one thing. Managing to sell them and, and convincing them to leave is another thing. And I'm not sure really if that Barcelona is, is in the best of place in terms of selling right now. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.